What's going on, pokey tubers? Today we're doing a little uh, informational video on Japanese product. This seems to be a question we get a lot in Discord of where to order Japanese boxes, especially after you know we were telling people buy the Kanazawa Pikachu's and buy the Nessa boxes, shiny Crobat boxes, buy you know get those ordered, pre-ordered, and uh, some people capitalized on that, some people did not. So today is just like an informational video on some places that I typically like to pre-order or just order Japanese product. So I've got five websites lined up here for you today as well as a master card shop list. I'm just gonna show a little bit of that. So the first one you've seen me talk about before when it comes when it came to pre-ordering Shiny Star V or getting Shiny Star V, Mia by Hobby. Uh, every, I'm not really ranking the sites here, but every site has different things that make them better or worse than the other sites. So um, a lot of times with the sites, you can change your currency up here. So make sure you switch that to your country. It always makes it easier to see what you're paying for. So Mia by Hobby here, they have more than just Pokemon cards as most of the Japanese sites selling product do. But usually they're featuring stuff right here on their homepage and you can click. Um, they will identify a lot of things as pre-order and they also will give you a notification that there's a limit. So a lot of stuff is sold out when you scroll over, which is nice that they're telling you we do not have it. Um, see here, this one tells you limit one per household, which is becoming a, like a larger problem with a lot of the sites. They're not letting you order more than a couple things. We're typically, I think now, the strategy for our channel going forward is to order uh, like two cases worth of each set as they come out. Usually on the Japanese side, my focus is to order the promotional products like, like the Nessa box over the actual sets, but I, I'm enjoying opening some of these sets not even more now, so I wanna get some of these kinda in the rotation as they come out. I've already pre-ordered for the next set. Um, so yeah, this is everything they have right here for expansion S5. Um, the website's pretty easy to navigate trading cards, Pokemon, um, should be on there. There we go. And you can uh, just click everything you want. Um, so pretty, pretty simple site to use. You can put stuff on your wish list to get emails. And when it comes back in the stock, there's Shiny Star V at 95. Um, so yeah, the best thing to do is to be early. So you can see Nest Box is up to 350 on their website, where I think eBay is like around 300 right now, three something. Um, so always check what the shipping is. That's the biggest thing that I compare with websites is what the shipping is going to be. Um, so yeah, that is site number one. Site number two is Japan you want. Um, this site is pretty cool. They don't seem to have as much product as some of the other sites sometimes, but um, just come here and click Pokemon card game. I do like to see that they're selling the promos that are kind of like the newer promos in Japan right now. Just get a feel of this new Snorlax here is the Cora Cora Coro magazine promo. That's really cool. Um, they do limit you typically on a lot of items like two per, so you got to see if it you know, ordering makes the shipping worth it depending on what you're getting. So usually I, if I order from here, I try to order a few things to make the shipping uh, balance out. Um, I just basically check these sites like once a week to see exactly what's uh, listed for sale, anything new is coming out. Um, I think I have an order with them that's still waiting on a couple pre-orders for some actually, so it'd be like a nice mix of older stuff. All right, on to site number three. So I've dealt with the site a lot recently Toys One Japan. They are, let's see if they still have Shiny Star V in stock. I ordered a bunch from them and they actually asked for some more shipping due to COVID. So let's see what they got. They got Nessa boxes for 300. They've got Shiny Star V boxes for 108 and a 10 lot for 1048. Um, they've got the, that's sold out. They've got the Crobat box for 97 and then a five slot of Shiny Star V is sold out. So they got 10 slot in stock and single. So you can just come in here and browse Pokemon. They do have toys and other things. Uh, 
but they're usually pretty good about emailing. So is uh, me a hobby. I've, I've never e emailed Japan you want, but the, the orders come in fine. Um, Communication is pretty good. So yeah, that is site number three. On to site number four is Plaza Japan. Uh, they have a lot, a lot of stuff here, like anything you can imagine. But I always go right over Pokemon card box or Center Original, which is mostly what I collect is like the boxes and stuff. But this is a lot of plushies and stuff like that. Let's look at Pokemon card box set, see what it is. So sometimes it's you got to read a little bit to make sure that you're ordering the right thing. There's not pictures for everything depending on when it's coming out. As you can see, the premium trainer boxes, the master box set, pre-order now. So those must be another another wave of those coming out. Or there's buy now. Okay. Yep. So... This is, this is a pretty good site. It's pretty easy to uh, look at automatically. Usually when I come on this, converts to USD, which is my currency. Um, you just gotta be able to kind of track Japanese product and when it's gonna kind of get listed and just be on here and be ready. Um, usually the biggest thing is I, if I'm looking at two sites, I just see what the shipping is for the same items. Shipping can make or break what you wanna order. Out of stock. You can put your email in here to get notified. They've had Shiny Star V keep popping up randomly here at 88 a box. It goes really, really quick though. So you got to be on it. So that is Plaza Japan, site number four. And the last site is Ami Ami. So this site is a little more difficult to navigate sometimes. You really got to know exactly kind of what you're looking for to search for a lot of times they don't have the pictures for stuff for pre-order but you can see here this is the set I was talking about pre-ordering white lance and black geist that is the next standard Pokemon set in Japan here um, so you can pre-order those right now no image just make sure you're searching for the right thing I don't know if this site has a converter for price so you just got to kind of do the math yourself once you're looking at this constantly, you'll be able to just kind of do it in your head to your currency from JP, JPY. So, yep, that is the five sites. And the last thing I was going to talk about is the online shop list here in Discord. So, I, in one of the channels, you can uh, click the Google Shared Sheet to view the MasterCard shop list. It's been, uh, I've audited it since May. I forget what, like, I think I did it like October 1st. Um, basically, it's sorted by region. We got EU, we got Japan, we got AU. I only have one, we got Canada. Just lots of stuff that may have sold Pokemon cards from time to time. A lot of these places, though, I went back through and it's like they have nothing. And I don't know if they're ever going to get anything, but uh, I do check these from time to time to make sure they're still like an operating business. And uh, people in the Discord to help me add cards to the list. So if you're just looking for something and you want to hop in Discord, go to the Master Card Shop list, find this sheet, and just click around, and you may find like a nice little gem of something that you're looking for that no one else may be looking for. But I do have all the sites that I mentioned right here: Plaza Japan, Mia Bahabi, Toys One Japan, Japan You Want, and oh, yeah, Ami Ami is not on there. So. There you go. Just added another one to the list. All right, so that's the top five sites. Make sure you drop this thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, like I said, the strategy with your Japanese product going forward for our channel is to order about two cases of the new sets, holiday sets. We would probably do something similar or more since those are usually the, you know, the Shiny Star V, the GX All Stars, the 10 box sets go a little more aggressive with those and as promo boxes stuff come out in discord we'll we'll be advising exactly we you know what we're doing what we're ordering you can see the kanazawa pikachu boxes we were pumping these like buy them buy them even at 100 and i'm usually we used to paying like 80 bucks for these on ebay a couple years ago these kind of boxes uh you can see where these are at already almost 400 bucks uh, I, unfortunately, like people got there, just canceled the Discord from eBay buyers, which eBay sellers, which was completely crap. So if that happens to you, make sure you report that so we can keep like a list of like who's going to cancel because they saw the price was trending up already. So they just said, ah, oh, you can't have it for a hundred. We're going to sell for two. 
Uh, but a real nice box. Anything like this I, is a, always an auto buy. This is one of my favorite things to collect. I love how they make the two tier display. But we'll try to keep you updated about what I'm buying and, and everything so you know that they're coming out. But that's all I got today. Appreciate everybody helping grow the channel. We've been getting a lot of views, a lot of new subs, a lot of people in the streams. And as always, thank you guys for watching.